Uh, we have a lot of questions about the Nook, and luckily for us, we do have the CEO of the store in studio to answer no a number of those questions. And, you know, let's start off, um, William, with some questions about the stock price. Obviously, it's taking quite a hit this year, down 21% year to date and 34% over the last six months. Talk about the Nook, the Nook color. Do you, do you expect this to really be accretive or additive to the bottom line quickly or for this year or for this holiday season? Yeah, we think Nook Color, um, it's given where it is in the market and who we're targeting. It's the first ever color readers tablet, Lisa. And well, you know what, hold on one second. I'm just sure. gonna pick it up so while you're talking, I can kind of hold it up for our photographer here so he can show how incredible, I mean, this is incredibly a real improvement from the last Nook. Yes, it's color touch. It employs a screen technology, which is called Vivid View. Um, it's a breakthrough technology. So the screen is super cl clear and crisp. We have more books and magazines on this device as well as newspapers and children's content. It's the largest selection of anybody in digital reading. So yeah, we think it's gonna be a big hit and absolutely it'll be a creative to the stock Yeah, Now give me a sense for, I mean, I, I had the Kindle when it first came out, I've used the Kindle. I had a Nook model that I demoed for a while yeah. and this is significantly better. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. It's a little bit lighter. Compare this to the Kindle and to the iPad, which, you know, some may say the iPad isn't exactly in the same category, mm -hmm. but it has cannibal, it certainly has hurt, you know, people call it a Kindle killer. What does the, how does the Nook compare to the two? I'm just getting you to the home screen there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so this is really the reader's tablet. It's, um, it, it's for everything and everything in terms of reading. The previous Nook, as well as Kindle, have an e-ink. Uh, screen which is not color it's black and white so it doesn't render newspapers magazines and kids books very well this on the other hand as you're seeing renders all the content in beautiful color but allows you to do things that tablets can do like surf the web and also access applications, Sudoku, streaming music services like Pandora, etc. Now you have, uh, Kelly mentioned just this a moment ago, this is an Android operating system, so was the prior Nook. Why aren't all the apps available and will there be Nook specific apps available sometime in the future? Yeah, in fact there are Nook specific apps available um, optimized for this device now. I just mentioned Pandora, streaming music service. We announced our Nook developer program, Lisa, so we'll have uh, uh, waves of developers developing applications now specific for the device. An example is Lonely Planet, who we've been working with to um, offer specific travel guides. Um, that's a social feature you just showed, which allows you to post content on your Facebook and Twitter pages okay. right from the device. Let me see, I'm um, gonna go to the library, hold on. Tough. Um, let's yeah, talk a little library. bit about where this fits into the big picture for Barnes and Noble. I mean, not no analysts are particularly bullish at the moment, at least sell side analysts. I think out of the seven that we looked at, it looked like there were zero buys, only three holds, and four sells. Talk to me about that. I know you just closed a big store here in Manhattan. What are you seeing around the country, around the world, and, and where does the Nook figure into that? Well, we think that the stock is a tremendous value right now. We think it's undervalued. We see a consolidation in the bookstore industry. The bookstore industry has been challenged. Um, we see a consolidation with fewer bookstores in this country, and we expect to be the beneficiary of that consolidation. We have the best bookstore model. We operate the most profitable bookstores in the U.S., and we've got the best real estate portfolio. So we think this is a great time to buy the stock. And in terms of Nook Color and uh, digital reading, that's an exploding market where we've got 20% of the market already bigger than what we have in the physical book market and we think this only gain, uh, allows us to gain share. So, um, we so your e-reader market, do you, are more books now being bought through the Nook than they are in your physical stores? No, no, no. Okay. Um, we have a bigger share at 20% plus in the exploding digital reading market. We have an 18% share. Um, we're the world's largest bookseller in physical books, but my point was we are continuing to gain share in the fastest growing segment of the market. Where do you see traditional books going? I mean, that's, that's a big question a lot of people have asked. Amazon was never a traditional bookstore, so developing an e-reader didn't cannibalize their sales, it just added to their sales, and I think for the first time ever, just recently, they sold more e-books than they did actual physical books. But for you, it could actually cannibalize on some of your sales. Well, um, we're not seeing it in that way. In fact, um, in our analysis, our best customers are Barnes Noble members. We have millions of them. We, f we find when they're a Nook owner or have our free Nook software, they buy not only um, digital books, but they also continue to buy physical books, and their spend goes up with us about 21%. In addition, we're selling Nook Color in our Nook products in Walmart, Best Buy, 
uh, Books a Million, where we're the featured e-reader at those huge retailers, allows, allowing us to access a new customer we might not have otherwise gotten in reading. So we feel like we're playing offense with this device. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the company and the situation that it's in. Right now, you're a public company. There have been some very public clashes between the largest shareholder and the second largest shareholder, Leonard Riggio, the co-founder, the, one of the founders of the company, and Ron Burkle, who's just been an investor in the company. Now, one analyst we spoke to speculates that the company will be taken private again. Can you comment on some of that? Um, no. We, um, what we've said, Lisa, is that we're going through a strategic evaluations process that's being led by a special committee of the board. Um, that process will wind up in about six to seven weeks, we think around six weeks, and we'll see where we are there. Um, and that's basically what we've said publicly and, 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 and all we can say about it at this point. All right. Well, really quickly, we want to say hi to your dad because we know he's watching. He called to find out when you were on. Okay. And when is the new Nook available? Um, so you can pre-order now on Nook.com or BN.com. It'll be in our stores for demo rolling out this week. It'll be in our stores, Best Buy, um, Walmart, and Books a Million starting uh, November 19th. All right, William Lynch, thank you so much, CEO of Barnes & Noble, for joining us today, and congratulations on the new release. Thanks. All right.